One of the topics people most struggle with on our level two ultrasound courses is image resolution. Here's a short explanation of what it is and why it's so important. Axial resolution is the ability of your scanner to distinguish two points in the vertical direction as being two distinct points. Scanner A has good axial resolution. So where there are two distinct points in the body, it displays on your ultrasound monitor as two points. But scanner B has poor axial resolution. So whilst you still have those same two points in the body, what you actually see on your scanner is a merging or a blurring of the points. And you might just see something like that, a kind of a smudge. Now lateral resolution is the exact same thing but in the horizontal direction. So again, scanner A has good lateral resolution. These two points are shown as two points. Scanner B has poor lateral resolution. And so you see something like this on your scanner. There is also another plane that we don't see, a non-imaging plane, which is the elevation plane. So actually your beam is a kind of a 3D shape, something like this. And if an uh, ultrasound machine has poor elevational plane resolution, then something that might be out of plane, another structure here, it's going to catch that and it won't understand that that's outside of where you meant to image. And so it will place that in your imaging plane here, so on your monitor. And that's what we often see in the bladder, for example, where you may notice in some scanners that it appears cloudy when in fact this is just soft tissue outside of your imaging plane that is being placed into your image to look as though it's inside the bladder. That's termed an ultrasound artifact and you tend to get more artifacts in machines with poorer resolution. These two things together are termed spatial resolution. But who cares? You care because this is what is going to stop you from wasting hundreds or even thousands of pounds or dollars on an ultrasound machine that's going to give you poor resolution. It's also what is going to help you to get the most out of the ultrasound machine you might already have. Let's take pregnancy scanning as an example. Whether you're scanning goats, sheep, cats or dogs, in early pregnancy the gestation sacs are very, very small. If you want to detect pregnancy early, you need a scanner with good lateral and axial resolution. Look at this scan. This is a 16 day pregnancy on an Apogee 1000 light. There is just no way that a scanner with poor resolution could pick up gestation sacs of this size. And the exact same goes for lymph nodes or adrenals if you're an abdominal sonographer or vegetations with endocarditis, tiny little masses if you're an echocardiographer, whatever field of ultrasound you're in, you're going to need good spatial resolution if you want to perform to a high level. So next time you see an ultrasound scanner at a bargain price, think about what you might be sacrificing to get it for that price and whether that might actually defeat the whole purpose of you buying a scanner to begin with. As well as influencing your choice of scanner, understanding resolution means that you can improve the image quality on your existing machine and there are so many controls you can use to do this. If you'd like to learn more about getting the most out of your ultrasound machine, there's a link in the description below to a book and also to the training courses that we run.